as some of you may or may not know, I have a series on Star Wars Obsessed that I call A Fan Reads. And basically, I'm just pretending that the movies first came out and I'm reading Bath Attacks as if for the first time. It's just silly fun. Well, I, t I recently read Bath Attracts issue number eight. And in this issue, this is what George Lucas has to say. The Star Wars fan club has a, a question for George, Lucas, for George Lucas, and they say, how do you think Star Wars and Empire compare? And here's his answer. Empire is a much different film than Star Wars. It's a rather sad film, more of a tragedy than a comedy. As the second part of this trilogy, it compares with the second act in a play. Everything goes wrong in the second act, and then everything is resolved in the third and final act. In my opinion, Empire is a better film than the first one was. And after reading that, I couldn't help but think about The Last Jedi. I know there's a lot of people who hate The Last Jedi. Some of it has to do with all the things that go wrong. Here's George Lucas saying that in the second act, everything goes wrong, especially with Luke Skywalker. You know, we get an explanation of what went wrong. And then there's the, the attack on the, the rebels. They're not called the rebels anymore, are they? I can't remember what they're called. Ugh. I'm just going to say the rebels. There's the first order attacking the rebels and just blowing them away. And then they got trapped down on that planet and they had to find a way out of that. And or, or, or even like Canto Bite where Finn and Rose tried to get some help and then that went wrong. You know, everything kept going wrong and that is the the second act. It is supposed to be everything that goes wrong. I just dropped my paper. And then in the third act, everything is resolved. So Joseph Campbell, he describes the basically the, the trajectory, the story arc that a hero in mythology will take. And that it's a common... Um, story arc that it, uh, occurs throughout cultures that heavily influenced George Lucas. He openly told everybody that you know I'm building this this character based on this this archetype. So when you see Ryan Johnson doing basically the same thing, he's following George Lucas's thing, but he's following the same thing that has happened through all cultures. This is anthropology 101. It's one of my favorite movies. I love The Last Jedi, and I saw it. I watched it again for the second time. I loved it even more. Um, I am. I guess this is my kind of defense for it because I just am so bummed that that so many people dislike it. That and that and that that because of this this outward hatred and you know the horrible responses that some of the actors got on Twitter and it's just just really sad that some of them had to close their Twitter feed just because the fanboys hated The Last Jedi so much and I'm hoping that you know people's opinion will change years from now and they'll find that it's a great movie as I see it is but that's it thanks for watching hey thanks for watching Star Wars Obsessed if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and click subscribe also, click on that bell icon to be alerted to new videos. You can also check out more of my collection at the Star Wars Obsessed blog.